In this video we're going to see what to do when you add new products to your business and you've got an integrated Shopify store. So there are two options here. You can either create the product separately in both of your systems making sure that they have the same SKU or you can create the products in Shopify and then download them into Brightpearl. So reasons why you might choose to create them separately are if you have a number of different sales channels and each different system requires different product information so maybe you've got eBay, Amazon, two Shopify stores and you actually want to tune the content on each of those sales channels based on the audience so in that situation it's really best to create them independently on all your channels just make sure that they've all got the same SKU. So the second option here creating in Shopify and downloading into Brightpole is generally most used when you just have a Shopify channel. Now Shopify doesn't have a cost price so what you'd have to do is add cost price into Brightpole and maybe other information too that Shopify doesn't store, such as wholesale price, location, and so on. So let's take the first scenario here. We'll create a product in Brightpearl and in Shopify separately. In Brightpearl, we go to create a new product, and it's just going to be called a BIC Paddle. Product type we've created before, paddles, and likewise the brand BIC we created earlier. We'll put it in a paddles category and just give it a SKU Paddle 01 and that's going to be the same as the SKU we put in Shopify. So the prices tab, we're going to buy this at £20 and we're going to retail it at £35.99. We're going to wholesale it as well at £29.99. Tax class is T20, this is a UK account so it's taxable product. We don't need to put the description in here unless we want to use this internally. We choose a supplier and it comes from the supplier company. So that's created the product in Brightpole. Now let's create the same product in Shopify. In Shopify we go to Add Product. We can call it whatever we like, it doesn't have to be the same as the Brightpearl name. And we pop a description in. We choose a product type. We don't have one called Paddles in Shopify yet, so we'll create one. This doesn't have to match Brightpearl and similarly the vendor doesn't have to match Brightpearl. And this is one of the benefits of doing it separately if you want to make these different values from Brightpearl. So price, that can be anything we like. The SKU is what's really important to make the same. And the weight, let's say this is going to be two pounds in weight. Yes, we want to track stock levels. Yes, we'll allow users to buy this item. The quantity will leave a zero here because as soon as we update Brightpearl, then that number will come from Brightpool into Shopify. And we don't have different options for this. And we'll pop it on the front page of our website. Great, so that is now created in Shopify. We've got the big paddle with yellow ends. And as soon as this product is purchased by a customer on Shopify, or as soon as an inventory level on Brightpool changes, it will automatically connect because they've got the same SKU. So let's add some inventory into Brightpell to show you how that works. This is best done on a purchase order, so let's quickly create a new purchase order and receive the stock. And you can see how it's pulling the cost price through here, and we'll buy three of these. None are in stock at the moment, so let's receive inventory. This purchase order has now been fully received and within a couple of minutes the Shopify store will also be updated. Going into Shopify and searching for this product we can see that there are now three in stock for this item. Now the first time you update stock it has to find the right product on Shopify so it can take a little bit longer. When you subsequently update stock the update should go through pretty quickly. Now let's have a look at the second option which is creating a product in Shopify and then downloading it into Brightpearl. In Shopify we'll go to add a new product and we'll call this a paddle with red ends this time and we're going to put that in product type paddles, vendor, necky, price, red's more expensive so let's go 45.99 and paddle 02. It's going to be three pounds. Yes we're going to track the inventory Yes, will allow users to buy this item. And let's say it comes in a couple of different sizes. So we'll choose size 
1.8 meters and 2.2 meters. In fact, let's call it length. We'll add an image, in this case just the same one, and pop it on the front page of our website, and then save. So Shopify has been smart, and it's given each of these different variants, each of these different options, a unique SKU. And it's essential to have different and unique SKUs for each of your products when they come into BrightPearl. So now that we've created them in Shopify, we need to go back to BrightPearl and visit our e-commerce connectors dashboard. And we find our e-commerce connectors dashboard in the setup area. On the left hand side we click integrations, list integrations, scroll down to Shopify and click settings. We need to log in with the same information that we used to log into our BrightPile account. Now that we're into our e-commerce connector dashboard, we can choose the store we're working with and click import products. On the right hand side we quickly check that the right price lists have been set up and the sell price list is what that $45.99 is going to be downloaded into. Shopify doesn't have a cost price so there won't be any values put in there and the default tax rate for taxable items is T20. We'll download only products added or edited since the last synchronization which should just be these two red paddles and we need to confirm that all products have unique SKUs less than 32 characters and then click download. We're now downloading these products into BrightPearl. Going back to BrightPearl, let's do a product search for paddle, where previously we only had the yellow paddle. We can now see that we've got paddle with red ends. These have been created by the product download. And BrightPearl has also created a new option called length and given it two values, 1.8 and 2.2. So that saved a fair bit of time creating it in Shopify and then downloading it automatically. And you can see here that the brand Neki, which is what we chose in Shopify, has been put on BrightPearl. Any downloaded products are put into the Shopify products category, so I want to update that once it's in BrightPearl. You might also want to add any other information such as minimum stock levels. You can see that the weight has come through from Shopify. We chose pounds, it's come into BrightPearl as grams. And then we need to add cost price. So $45.99 has come into the retail price and we'll put a cost price in here of 20 each. We'll choose a supplier and then we're done. Now if I update stock levels in BrightPearl, we'll push those through to Shopify. When we import products from Shopify, we never add stock levels automatically because changes to stock levels affect your accounting. So all inventory has an asset value and you need to make sure that you really record the reason for adding the stock and generally the best way to do that is on a purchase order. So that's shown you two different ways of adding products to your business when you have an integrated Shopify store.